Uh, they're Gerald and Alice Uden, and uh, we've lived here a little over 12 years, and uh, we've known them as next door neighbors for that amount of time. Uh, Gerald worked as an over the road truck driver, and Alice was uh, worked that way for five or six years with him, and then her health caught up with her. Uh, she contracted cancer, trigger diabetes, some stomach problems, had some surgeries, so she had to stay home for the last five or six years. I bought eggs from her. She raised chickens. I bought eggs from her. She'd uh, come over. I'd go over there. We'd uh, compare sewing notes, per se, because she sewed and I sewed. Uh, we'd uh, discuss grandchildren, what hers are getting into, what mine are getting into, the, the ages that they are. Uh, to me, she was just a, a, a very gentle grandmother, grandmotherly type person and uh, would do anything for you, give you the shirt off her back and ask no questions. Uh, she would have, uh, whenever she was sick and going through chemo, the uh, pastor from the church that uh, she went to in Springfield would come out uh, once a month and bring communion. And I know the first time that he came out, she, ca she called and she said, Jeanette, she said, do you have a, a white tablecloth, a, a anything? I, I need to put something on my on my uh, table so that when Father brings communion out to me, um, I'll have, you know, I, I don't have anything except a bed sheet. She said, I want something better than that for, um, because uh, God is coming into my house and he's coming to me and I want, I want the best because he is my, my savior. Uh, Monday morning about 11 o'clock. How did you find out? Uh, her daughter came over and informed us of the events of the weekend. Erica stopped over and said, I need to talk to you about mom and dad. I said, okay, what, what about them? She came in, sat down at the table, and explained it to us. We just couldn't believe it. She said, said that uh, the FBI had arrested her mom and her dad came up and they arrested him also. But she said for murder. That's what was so astounding, because you don't think of your next door neighbors as being murderers, and we still don't. I mean, it, it's, the preponderance of evidence is against them, but we still think of them as our elderly neighbors. They just didn't seem like bad kinds of people. I was totally shocked. I, uh, I still am. I just, I, I can't believe that it happened. It's, um, I mean, somebody that is as nice as she is and as gentle as she is and Gerald also. And in my mind, they're both still innocent until proven guilty. And we'll always feel that way. Alice, I knew her better than I did Gerald, but uh, I just, I, I, I'm aghast at it, but I just I hope she knows that the Lord loves her, we love her, and. Hope she can get through this, all right. She isn't in the best of health. And I just I just pray that they can both get through this mentally, physically, and and that God takes care of him.